Now let's work on a problem. We have been given that p of x is equal to x power 4 minus 6x cube minus 16x square plus 25x plus 10 and g of x is equal to x square minus 2x plus k and we have also been told that the remainder is x plus a and you have been asked to calculate the values of k and a. The first step of the division process is to arrange the terms of p of x and g of x in decreasing powers of x. So if you observe here, the terms are already in the decreasing powers of x. So the power of the first term is 4, the power of the second term is 3, 2, 1 and 0. Similarly, in the divisor, the powers of x are 2, 1 and 0. So the step 1 is satisfied. So now let's work on the step 2. The step 2 states that divide the first term of the dividend with the first term of the divisor. So when you divide x power 4 by x square, you will end up with x square. So that is your first term of your quotient. So now let's multiply this term with the terms of the divisor. You will end up with x power 4 minus 2x times x square is minus 2x cube plus kx square. So next subtract these two polynomials. So minus plus and minus you have to change the signs. So x power 4 x power 4 cancels out minus 6x cube plus 2x cube is minus 4x cube minus 16x square minus kx square is minus of 16 plus kx square plus 25x plus 10. So next if you observe the degree of the remainder it's 3 and the degree of the divisor is 2 so you still have to continue the division process. So you take the first term which is minus 4x cube and divide it by x square you will have minus 4x. So that will be your next term of your quotient and continuing the same process you will end up with minus 4x cube right minus 4x times minus 2x is plus 8x square plus k minus multiplied with minus 4x is minus 4kx. So again you do the subtraction so the change the signs. So minus 4x cube plus 4x cube cancels out and here you have minus 16 plus kx square minus 8x square. So add these two terms 16 plus 8 is 24. So you have minus of 24 plus kx square here 25x plus 4kx. So this is 25 plus 4kx plus 10. Okay. So if you observe the degree of the uh, remainder here is 2 and the degree of the divisor is also 2. So you have to continue the division process. So let's divide the first term of the new dividend which is minus 24 plus k x square with the first term of the divisor which is x square. So x square x square cancels out and you will have minus of 24 plus k. So this is minus of 24 plus k. So continuing the process you have minus 24 plus k x square right then you have minus of 24 plus k times minus 2x so which will become plus 48 plus 2 times k is 2k x plus minus of 24 plus k times k which is nothing but minus of 24 k plus k square right because to multiply k with 24 you have 24k k with k you have k square minus times plus is minus so minus of 24k plus k square so now doing the subtraction change the signs plus minus and plus right so minus of 24 plus k x square plus 24 plus k of x square gets cancelled out and here you will have 25 plus 4k minus 48 minus 2k of x and here you have plus 10 plus 24k plus k square. Observe the remainder now. The degree of the remainder is 1 and the degree of the divisor is 2. So which means the, the degree of the remainder is less than the degree of the divisor. So we should stop the division process. So this is your remainder. So now let's simplify this and you will end up with 2k minus 23 of x plus k square plus 24k plus 10. But we have been given in the problem that the remainder is equal to x plus a. Equating the coefficients on the left hand side and the right hand side, you end up with 
टू के माइनस ट्वेंटी थ्री इज इक्वल टू वन एंड के स्क्वायर प्लस ट्वेंटी फोर के प्लस टेन इज इक्वल टू ए सो सिंप्लीफाइंग दिस यू हैव के इक्वल टू माइनस ट्वेंटी थ्री टेकन ऑन अदर साइड बिकम्स प्लस ट्वेंटी थ्री प्लस वन इज ट्वेंटी फोर ट्वेंटी फोर बाई टू के इज ट्वेल्व राइट सो नाउ सब्सटीट्यूड k equal to 12 in the next term which is 12 square plus 24 times 12 plus 10 which is equal to a so simplifying this you have 144 right 12 square is 144 24 times 12 12 times 4 is 48 and 12 times 2 24 plus 4 is 28 plus 10 so this is equal to 442 You will, can do the addition and you will get 442, which is equal to a. So a is 442 and k is 12. So in this way, we have calculated the value of a and k by applying the principles of division of polynomials. Let us work on another problem. We have been given that the sum, the sum product of the zeros taken two at a time and the product of the zeros of a cubic polynomial are two. Minus seven and minus fourteen respectively, and we have been asked to find the cubic polynomial. Let's try to solve this. If you recall from the cubic polynomials lesson, we have derived that if p of x is equal to x cube plus b x square plus c x plus d, and if alpha, beta, gamma are the roots of the polynomial p of x or zeros of the polynomial p of x then then we can find the relationships between the coefficients and the zeros as follows a equal to k b equal to minus k of alpha plus beta plus gamma c equal to k of alpha gamma plus beta gamma plus alpha beta and d equal to minus k alpha beta gamma so now let's try to look at this last line and then try to solve the problem So for a cubic polynomial p of x is equal to x cube plus b x square plus c x plus d, if alpha, beta, gamma are the roots of that cubic polynomial, then a is equal to k, b is equal to minus k of sum of the roots alpha plus beta plus gamma, c equal to k times alpha gamma plus beta gamma plus alpha beta, which is product of the roots taken two at a time, and finally. D equal to minus k alpha beta gamma, where alpha beta gamma is product of the zeros or product of the roots. So in our problem statement, we have been given that the sum of the roots is two. Okay, so b, so let's substitute that. So a is still the k, and then b is equal to sum of the roots times minus k. So this becomes minus two k, and c is equal to product of the roots taken two at a time. So here we have given the product of the zeros taken two at a time is minus seven. So this becomes minus seven k. And finally, d is equal to minus k times product of the roots. Product of the roots we have been given as minus fourteen. So minus fourteen times minus k becomes fourteen k. So now we let's substitute some integer values for k. So if k is one, then p of x becomes a is one because k is one. So this is x cube and b. Becomes minus two of one is minus two, so minus two x square plus c is nothing but minus seven times k. K is one, so c becomes minus seven. So this becomes minus seven x, and finally k is one, so d is equal to fourteen. So here d is fourteen. So this is one cubic polynomial which has the sum of its roots as two, sum of the product of the root taken two at a time. Is minus seven, and the product of the roots as minus fourteen. Similarly, you can substitute other values for k. Like for example, k is equal to two, and you will have a new cubic polynomial which would be two x cube minus four x square minus fourteen x plus twenty eight. So, in this way, using the relationships between the coefficients and the roots, we have been able to find the. cubic polynomial which satisfies the conditions given in the problem